still in the Nuka world. I took some time to empty out <coughs> as much of my inventory as I could. So now I'm not over encumbered with nowhere to put anything. I also went and grabbed my uh, battle suit. trick with the battle suit <coughs> is you never know when you're going to need it. If, if you're doing the content for the first time, you don't know where the boss fights are. And I have a fairly good collection of, uh, of fusion, you know, uh, what do you call them? Uh, cores. Okay, so here's my combat's armor here. Over, boss. Making trouble? Good. All right. You can take something, it's yours. Oh, I could beat the keck out of you and take that pink gun. <laughs> Ain't no one sad about Colt. All right, I'll just avoid sprinting. Probably originally some sort of promenade. Let me make sure I have the uh, correct quests. the wrong place to go anyway. <laughs> so that, that's the uh, monorail station that we entered through. Alright, so I have to reach the boss's base. He said it's at the restaurant in Fizz Top Mountain, which is the really tall thing. I wonder if the layout anywhere close to uh, Disneyland. Which we have uh, the various worlds coming off a central hub. So this would be the equivalent of Main Street up here. Working hard. No trouble. Yeah, and straight ahead would be the mountain. Okay. So let me give you Though nice actually job, straight man. ahead nor nor normally be the castle. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the mountain. 
If you're looking for something, you can find it there. Happy rail. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Well, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Misha really only has one rule around here. Hey. Beautiful world. I always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it. This place is amazing, don't you think? Mm, pretty impressive. Yeah. Nuka-Cola and having the time of their lives. Ain't no such thing as magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka-Cola museum? Um, nope. <laughs> Me? Never heard of it. Well, it's a long way from here. So I guess that's not surprising. Well, I'd stay in tap some more, but I've got a little check for my foot. No thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me, and I just don't know you very well. You can trust me. I'm a good guy. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. It's not that I don't want to tell you. It's just that I came all this way, and I'd hate for someone else to beat me to it. Sorry. There's a particular flavor of Nuka-Cola that I haven't had in a really long time. It's called Nuka-Cola Cord. It glows white in the bottle. You can't miss it. If you could bring me a bottle, then I'd be happy to share my secret with you. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know when I found the bottle of Nuka-Cola Cord. Great! I can't wait to taste it. It's a really unique flavor. Sure, we carry guns, but we don't fight. It's not fun in this game. You do a lot of focusing work. Hard work. Hard and not let it get to you. Perhaps one day I'll be able to take a bullet in you and some of that pain out of your neck. Okay, I should leave the uh, combat suit in there, so I'll leave it here in the lobby. I wonder, is there a special radio station for Coral Radio?
one of all the nice folks in the combat zone. Those of you who offer enough to eat, plus up to my table, don't eat and drink me under the table. I'm like, to hell you can, try me! So everybody gathers round because they fear this is going to be the coolest thing that happens all night. We just go after shot after shot after shot. Now the whole time, Digs are yours now. Hope you like the look of Colt's hammer. Cool and safe. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Now, talk. I'll be honest with you. This operation needs some men. Step in and take the lead. Oh, hell ain't gonna be an easy one. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Colt all those years. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. Get me? I hear you. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. All at once. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. The city of dreams. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, the world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Hell of a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Colt got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Didn't bother putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless. Started pissing each other off. It was good. A real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get your gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. The disciples might like it. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. If they get promised cash, they'll listen to it. The pack, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Stay some peace in that world. Technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leader. Talk with him. Flex your muscles a little. Show him you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show him you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't shoot.
watch yourself, Saw. Because we sure will be. I checked. I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter with Rage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's silly. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow killing. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alive. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we felt it at the time. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I won't let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, but he never followed through. So you'd better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of Coulter. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the disciples don't make happy we make good ones. We aren't swayed by cats like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. work for me, I'll get you whatever you want. Good. You're either smart or you value your life. Either way, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Now, if you're really looking to get on my good side, there's no shortage of work around here. So, if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Okay, Claude, I assume that she's going to give us a quest. <coughs> What's happening? I got something you'll want to look into. Whatever I can do to help. Well, aren't you agreeable? Some traders don't believe in finders keepers when it comes to stealing. It's time to put them in their place. Okay. My kind of work. Thought you'd like that. Okay. Assuming that each of the gangs is going to give me a loyalty quest or something. Hmm. 
Vegas crazies. Just ignore them. Let their freaks just stick to their camp. Checked this armor before I. Let's see. out for the right arm. Find some more. That last one died. Too fast. Damn Nico Cola bombs left in my lighting deck. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Corporal. Man was an idiot. Let us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little class. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him a pinch of soul. I want to know, how did you feel as you died? When you brought that rotten pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure it'll look good. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to that than I expected. Regardless, Gabriel's decree means that you're the new overlord. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last man. And now, this is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only game you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Money! Making money? I do think so. <laughs> this place was built for the sole purpose of taking tasks out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gabe's and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect of strangers in temples. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he worked large in his damn mountain shack. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to Robin Hood with this fucking money. Money? Money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. 
Hmm. I look forward to seeing any coin that's put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some job for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to being what it was once. You'll be in for the hard job, boy. Let me get you in just to see how you do. Talk to the man. Hey. Looking to get your hands dirty? You're in the right place. Job didn't cost no lap. Yours if you want it. Sure, whatever you need. All right, then. We have an issue with the disciples. Someone has been passing them information. That information should be us. Apply this shot caller to her. If you can do it without being detected, wonderful. Otherwise, feel free to tunnel her into agreement. Right up my alley. Good to hear. We'll be waiting. What is it that you want with us? We need to put some of these walls in order. I mean, we had us. We don't need the rest. I think it's already flagged, but I could unflag everything else that way and get people to show up, but you know. Sorry, Nick. I know he disliked that, but I gotta get in good with these gangsters. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. I might have to fight in this one, so... <laughs> Best to have the armor on.
Like anyone broke up about Joker, just figured on his replacement being, well, distant. Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be overboss? Me? Overboss? Coulter was definitely overboss, not a man enough. And things were good in the beginning. We were good, but that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft, wanted to take stock in what he achieved. <laughs> I'm sure this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But there ain't a pal of the cat we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. In their memory, it shipped a bunch along with their friendship to us. Things were going to hell fast. But Gage, you got to remember, got us together. He promised he'd find someone to deal with Colton. So, what's the real story here in Gage and Colton? Hey, how do you know what I've heard? The story is that Gage got Colton into becoming overboss. Then he got you into it, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. You can trust me with something you didn't know when you were here. No offense, we just got here. We'll see what we can do. Look, let's cut to the chase. You're gonna do right by the pack. Been talking to the other gang. So you intend to treat all the gangs equally? Ain't no two things in this world that's truly equal, boss. Everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top and one on the bottom. It's a simple law of nature. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, but there must be an order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, stop by. Loyalties are two way streets. Hey there. I could use you, just, you know, being too busy. Whatever it is, I'll take care of it. Well, that's sweet of you. One of mine's gone and got domesticated by some cluck in a bank in the pack. Must have forgot. Good pack mates for life. here
use the thing. Sure, we carry guns. So much Nuka Cola in the trash cans, I don't know. Well, you got these guys parked here blocked, right? But they're not gonna last much longer. But you know, I take a minute to make sure that I'm not so drunk that I'm long here, but I'm right. Yeah. These wobbly folks are just I just can't do it, man. I have enough to drown me, and I can't do it to stop me. Find me some real gold and silver. in one piece that's a good sign is everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath sure hope you didn't promise him too much i mean going a little over the top is part of the game but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver all the gang are on board i knew you had it in you time to roll up your sleeves boss the work to be done this place is huge Divided up into sections, parts, whatever the hell they call them back in the day. We need to take them all back, one at a time. Every section you secure gives us a little more breathing room now, more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to, we'll appreciate. The others might get a little jealous. Serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what they're watching. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want to. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together now, so I might as well go all in. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. I'll be around. Okay, so... This world used to be a whole lot of growing pretty strong and then being pushed out of control for no good reason. Top Mountain. So there's five areas and three 
begins, which means certain games are not going to be left out. If I want to repair that, all I have to do is go back to my uh, main bases. Got him quite a bit in there. Who would have borne this house? Okay, so my stuff at Grey Garden. So I need to go find more power on my farms. <laughs> Okay. So we're all repaired. We should upgrade the helm if we can. Yeah, we're out of aluminum still. Okay. still got it repaired. Nobody here is going to be wearing it, but uh, let's pop the fusion core just in case. Okay, so. for each of the gangs. And I got 
got those uh, the battle suit on, I really got to make sure I keep an eye on that core. I don't want to completely drain it because... Uh, disappears but if I can get it down to like 5% or something I could then sell it and it'll sell for the same amount that a full one would <laughs> pushing a car around something
right? Well, that's 200 years old. Any that's pretty good for your age, huh? This is what I like about you, Ariel. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than a fake. Those teenagers always want what they haven't earned. Says I lost. Dana, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Dana, I can't believe you'd do this yes. to me. Yes. Do what to me, Paul? You keep away from my wife, goddammit. You better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Yeah. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. Think you can wait? Can you see me all night? And I think you have to find a bed and sleep in it. conversation, didn't I? I have this necklace that would look wonderful on you. Here. Okay, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. Help! Mag Black and Nukatan owned you. Oh Get God. moving. Yeah, this who knows it? Whoa! They didn't like that. <laughs> All of a sudden, I can't move. started shooting me. I guess that was not a, uh, a good idea. Found them. Okay, fine. Um... <laughs> Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for one? Huh? Wait, how, Paul? Why do you always have to make us stand up? Pour me another drink. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Dana. I can't believe you'd do this to Mag me. Mag Black and Nukatan owned you. Paul. Oh, Get moving. You keep away from my wife, goddammit.
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to totally uh, forget this particular quest because it makes Nick turn on you permanently. That's a bad thing. Let's um, see if there's an alternate way to do this. Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for one? Because I want to be able to do the um, other alternate content, which is all based on, uh, from what I've heard, Nick's uh, storyline leads you to it, so I can't afford to make Nick uh, mad at me. Hey, see that big blimp? What's the grub up here to steal? Why are they here? Read the paper, mister. Proxy. Well, well. Mickey Valentine walks into my office full time. What do you say, Martha? Used, used, and hard luck all together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, Mickey is finally letting me in on the trick of his finger. Except, of course. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. I don't know. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them the Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth criminal ring. Feared and hated by everyone. Who are not? Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. But there's one place my wife can get help. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. A man like that would have had access. In and out. If we both know that angle, it isn't gonna work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and kidnapper gets their brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out, huh? Just blown out. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutine? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. You live the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happen. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it would be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memory. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is gonna work. Jesus, Nick! No, seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We've got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Continue. I have to go to the memory den either way. 
new species of Amari. If you want to head there together, just say so. Okay. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. I gotta bring my future Ooh, girlfriend. Out in for shade. That's not just a joke. Mag Black and Nukatan owns you. Oh Get God. moving. Sorry, Piper. Wanna do something fun? Get in the cage. Well, at least she didn't start shooting at me. He never judges me. Good neighbor, huh? You're looking to get stoned or stabbed? I 
wonder how long it would take you blood hounds to track me down here, Mark. It's been almost three months. Yes. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Did you take the shots, Cal? It ain't like that. I'm just here to save your life. In case you forgot, I left the gunner for dead here. I heard. But you sure as hit me well from the combat zone. That gives him plenty of work to do. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Hey, Mark, tell me we want to listen to this shit. Listen up, Lacoon. The only reason we haven't killed your body for the folks is because we don't want war with good neighbors. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you would never learn. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating the site gunner, we're entirely all bets are off. You got that? You're finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Mark. Come with me. There's something you need to see. Yeah, right. No thanks. Really? Look, pal. Alright, let me get my little Piper on. I really don't want Piper to get pissed at me, so. Hold up. I want to hear this song. Brotherhood of Steel, but it's way out of this one. Walked out of the den, Irma, but I will never walk out on you. Hmm. Am I very clear? Not just a bit. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a safe place. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari. It's not gonna be easy. But first, Kellogg is already cold on the floor. Are you two mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defy a force. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. <laughs> I can take it. But no guarantee. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Hmm, those circuits look awfully familiar. It must have been. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we're lucky, it should hook right in. But even if it would, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. 
You're talking about wiring something to my brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. I appreciate this, Mac. You can thank me when you find your son. Right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mac. Keep moving. <laughs> if I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's stay here. you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I can't make sense of any of it, Don. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has long lost the record. There's a lock on the memories in the Institute. Tell me you have a way past this stuff. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use three? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in pilot. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Hold on. Simulation appears to be working, although the memories are stagnant. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hopefully find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Experiencing these memories is color. This may prove disorienting at first. God, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Well, it doesn't matter now, though. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in the temporal system. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, we don't really believe it. Focus on our petty bullshit or next job or whatever it's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like i was the worst thing that ever happened to her if she
she'd never met me, she was staying in the house, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> You thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory this time. I'll connect you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. I ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. So, uh, guys, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather distrustful of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting near one. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brains. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Payload override initiated. Cryogenic status. Suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. On C6, down the hall near the end. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. 
not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, never liked to. Yeah, I guess it did remind me of her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. appears to be a very recent memory. Uh, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before too long. Hello. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off with Barbara Hoover on top. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Again, I say never. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. We know he's hiding somewhere in the growing sea. Here's his file. We're gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X-688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. all makes sense. Nobody found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. Do me zero.
This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man. Oh, okay. I want you to keep monitoring the site. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even a big step. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following us. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great, if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rad. Don't worry. Good luck. Do your thing. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine's disc. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Hmm. Marty said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City. We've got company already. Let's take a break. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. All right, so let's send Piper. There's still some Nick Valentine history I've been wanting to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath a sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter is some mob boss. Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. 
American bastard wanted to see death. Lives forever. So he can come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation scheme. Nick, I can't be saying what I think you're saying. Oh, I'm saying it, all right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter, safe and sound, ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm going to find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? Sure. All right, then. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is. The door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotypes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. To find all of those holotypes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotypes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winter. Man, this is now some candid police evidence lockup. So we're getting swarmed by theorists. On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the code. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Okay. So. Let's, uh, do the Eddie Winters thing. Um, I do want to, uh, get through Nick's storyline, because from what I've heard, that's what leads into the other DLC, besides Nuclear World. I want to make sure I unlock both of them. in the Commonwealth. All right, so... Eddie Winter, Holotape number one. Message to Johnny Fortrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat, lazy piece of shit. I knew. I knew! Take a look. 
Let me see. some of this stuff apart and I'll sell the rest. Anything I can lug for you? situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. Let's see what you have. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. It's a bit of a Easter egg hunt, trying to find ten uh, hollow tapes. But uh, maybe I should do that off stream and just uh, stream the next time when I've got that all done and ready to go after the bad guy. Yeah, I think so. I don't don't want to have to bore you with uh, running around the com all the Commonwealth looking for um, hollow tapes. Once I got all the hollow tapes in, then I can stream and play them all in sequence. And uh, we can get this uh, quest line going. So you guys have a great uh, rest of your uh, Sunday, and we shall talk to you later.